Hi, it's Jordan from H2X here. In this video, we're going to have a look at assessing the pipe sizing and radiator sizing on an existing gas boiler system with the aim to switch to a heat pump whilst answering a very common question. Can I keep 10 mil pipe on my customer's new heat pump system? As you can see, we've drawn out the floor plan using H2X's heat loss feature and we have the room by room heat loss displayed in each room, adding up to a total heat loss of just under 3.8 kilowatts. Next up, we just need to finish off the system layout and we can see we have a gas boiler with a 70 degree flow and a 50 degree return temperature. For the study, it's a pretty small room with a heat loss of 0.31 kilowatts. H2X gives you the ability to specify the existing radiator type and size. For this room, it's an 800 by 600 type 22. We can see that based on a DT50, this gives us a one kilowatt output, which is more than adequate for the current room. Looking around the building, we can see green text in every room, which indicates the heat demand is satisfied, especially in the kitchen diner where the two existing radiators can supply up to 4.43 kilowatts uh, at a DT50. From our site visit, we know that all the radiators are piped on 10 mil. Uh, the main run to the hallway is 15 mil, and the final run uh, from the hallway and lounge is 10 mil. We're able to add notes to the drawing to identify this and compare to the calculated results later on. Running the results on the existing system, we can see a total heat load on the boiler of 10 kilowatts, which is quite oversized for the four kilowatts needed to heat the space. We can also see that all of the existing pipe sizes are adequate for the current system. We've got 15 mil from the boiler, dropping to 12 mil and 10 mil beyond that, so all good at present. Next up, we can quickly modify the system by adding a heat pump outside, set our flow temperature of 40 and our return of 35. Can also add a, a four kilowatt domestic hot water cylinder, pipe up to that, uh, and also add a three port diverter valve. At this point, we can rerun the results and there's quite a bit to dive into. Firstly, we can see that our 10 mil pipes to each radiator are still adequate, which is great. Looking at the room by room heat loss, although uh, the outputs have gone down a lot, the kitchen diner has gone from 4.4 to 1.95. They are all still green other than the lounge where we will need to add one extra radiator. So we can go ahead and add that. If you specify a radiator type and a maximum dimension, such as 600 high, HX will calculate the required width to satisfy the heat load based on the room design temperature and the flow temperature from the heat pump. So a type 22 at 600 high will need to be 900 wide to produce the required 500 watts at a DT20. And now that's in, we can check the pipe sizes again. From the heat pump all the way to the study, um, it needs a 22 mil pipe. Currently we have 15 mil, so that section would need to be replaced. Across the hall, it's calculated 12 mil, where we currently have 10 mil. To replace all of this would be quite disruptive. We'd be going under the floor in four rooms out of six. So to avoid this, we could have a play around with our maximum velocity. It defaults to the recommended one meter per second, but if you wanted to push the envelope a bit, you could try going up to a maximum of 1.5 meters per second. Checking the results again, we can see that we now only need a 22 mil to the first radiator. We don't need to replace any existing pipe work through the study. The hallway has dropped to 10 mil, which is great. This really minimizes unnecessary expense, work and disruption for the customer. As well as the pipe sizing, you can also see the total heat load on the heat pump. So you can select the appropriate model. You get the total system volume, index circuit length and recirculation pump duty. And on the pipe work, you can highlight the index run as well as displaying flow rates and velocities on each pipe. Once you're happy with the results, you can then export a PDF drawing set that you can use to sit down with your client and show them exactly where you'll be running or replacing any pipe work. And you can also download a room by room heat loss report and a full bill of materials.